Hundreds of thousands of people taking to the streets in Washington, D.C. They're sending President Trump a message. They won't let his agenda go unchallenged over the next four years. The turnout for the women's rally at the U.S. Capitol is so big that crowds filled the entire Mouch route, preventing organizers from leading a formal trek to the White House. Similar protests are taking place in cities across the country and even around the world. It's all in the name of protecting people's rights. Here's a shot from Skywatch 7 as an estimated 3,000 people filled Niagara Square for a women's rally here in downtown Buffalo. Some 40 officers mingled throughout the crowd, making sure the demonstrators remained peace peaceful. There are no reports of any arrest. We begin now with 7 Eyewitness News reporter Dave Thompson. Thousands of Western New Yorkers joined together Saturday afternoon for the No Hate, No Mandate March and Rally in Buffalo. We are all very worried about women's rights. And what about women's rights do you feel that they might choice, not be? Choice, our choice, health care, uh, health care, arts, the list equal pay. Buffalo police estimate that anywhere between 2,500 and 3,000 people took part in the Buffalo March. And while many were there specifically to support women's rights, others shared different issues they feel the nation faces after President Trump took office. We're marching for the rights of everyone, not just women. I have a daughter who's gay and a daughter who's straight, and I think they should both have equal rights and both get to pursue their happiness any way they see fit. With a diverse crowd concerned about many different issues attending today's event, Erie County Executive Mark Polencars wants to make sure that the wishes of Western New Yorkers are addressed during the Trump presidency. He may be the president, uh, but we also are going to stand up for our issues, whether it's in Washington, D.C., New York City, or right here in Buffalo, New York. And while the people I spoke with today had many different reasons for coming, everyone seemed to have one thing in common. They wanted this to remain a peaceful protest that would send a message to the new president that women's rights and human rights won't be ignored. In downtown Buffalo, I'm Dave Thompson, 7 Eyewitness News.